I'm Dr. Carla Greenbaum. I'm a physician and a researcher, and I've specialized in studying type 1 diabetes for over 30 years. Being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, whether it's you or a member of your family, is a very emotional experience. The first thing I always tell my patients is that it's entirely possible to lead a full and healthy life with type 1 diabetes, and many people do. Once you understand that, it gets a little bit easier. We all have certain cells in our pancreas called beta cells. Their main purpose is to make insulin, a protein that helps our bodies turn the sugars from our food into energy for our muscles and other cells. In people with type 1 diabetes, these cells become targets for our immune system for reasons we don't yet quite understand. But the result is that when we begin to lose these beta cells, we make less insulin. Eventually, we lose enough beta cells that the pancreas can't make the amount of insulin our bodies need. So we begin to notice the effects. It's at that stage when people are usually diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and need to get insulin some other way, either by injection or an insulin pump. Over time, sometimes years, sometimes decades, almost all the beta cells are lost. Insulin is a lifesaver, absolutely, but it's more like a Band-Aid. It doesn't do anything to address the underlying cause of diabetes, which is the loss of beta cells. What we really want, and what researchers are ultimately trying to develop, is a treatment that can permanently stop the immune system from destroying beta cells. Something we could give people as soon as they are diagnosed so that they don't lose any more. But we're not quite there yet. So right now, our goals are a little more modest. The question researchers are asking now is rather than try to stop beta cell loss altogether, maybe as a first step, we can slow it down. This is important because we've seen time and time again that even a relative handful of working beta cells can make a dramatic difference in helping people manage their diabetes. This is what we're trying to do in the EXTEND study, help people with type 1 diabetes retain their beta cells longer. The EXTEND study is a clinical trial being conducted by the Immune Tolerance Network that is testing a drug called tocilizumab, also known as Actemra, in type 1 diabetes. We think that tocilizumab may change the balance of certain important types of immune cells involved in type 1 diabetes in a way that subdues their attack on beta cells. What we're trying to find out in EXTEND is if patients will retain their remaining beta cells for a longer period of time when tocilizumab is administered soon after they are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. One of the other reasons we are so interested in tocilizumab is that it has already proven to be safe for use in people. Though it has not been tested in type 1 diabetes before, it is regularly used to treat rheumatoid and juvenile arthritis. Of course, we have no way of knowing whether tocilizumab will work the way we think it will. So, We've designed the EXTEND study so that no matter what the result, we will learn more about type 1 diabetes and the best strategies to treat it. The most important things to remember about volunteering for any clinical trial are, first, we cannot predict whether or not you'll benefit from taking tocilizumab. And second, like any medication, you could experience side effects, whether minor or serious. After watching this video and reading the information on our website, if you think you might be interested in volunteering for EXTEND, the first step is to determine whether you meet the basic requirements for the study. If you are eligible and decide you'd like to participate in EXTEND, we'll ask you to attend seven clinic visits over six months where you will receive either tocilizumab or a placebo. A placebo is an inactive form of the drug that is used for comparison purposes. Neither you nor the study doctors and staff know which one you receive. After your treatments are complete, you'll be asked to come back four more times over the next 18 months. At these visits, we will evaluate your overall health and take blood samples that will be used to check on the state of your beta cells and the immune system. All participants in the study will receive intensive diabetes management for the duration of the study. In all, your participation will last two years. Check our website for more information and for a list of clinical sites near you. And if you still have questions, our EXTEND study teams will help you get the information you need 
to help you decide whether participating in EXTEND is right for you. On behalf of all of us at the EXTEND Trial and the Immune Tolerance Network, I'd like to thank you for your interest.